biryani is a motion either be it veg or non veg today i'm making veg biryani here for that i have given the ingredients and quantity in the description box i have making it for four people so you can refer to it with the quantity in a kadhai add 150 ml of oil and then add whole garam masalas and fry it until the aroma is spread now add the onions and green chilies and fry till the onions are translucent add mint and coriander leaves here this is the main step which will make the biryani to get the good aroma stir fry it for few seconds Here you can add the ginger garlic paste now and fry it till the raw smell is gone. Now the raw smell is gone. I'm adding the veggies over here. You can use any veggies of your choice. I have used potatoes, carrots, beans, peas. You can use cauliflower if you want. Adding salt and fry it for few seconds. I always like my biryani to be colorful so I add turmeric powder and chili powder you can skip the step if you don't want I'm adding turmeric powder and chili powder here and some biryani masala Let the veggies cook. We'll cover it with a lid. After two to three minutes, we'll give a stir fry, and I'll add the tomato and cashew paste. Here, this tomato and cashew paste I have made by boiling three to four tomatoes and ten to fifteen cashews. Then I'll grind it to a fine paste. This gives an enhanced flavor to your biryani. we could see the paste is well cooked now we will be adding the basmati rice i have used basmati rice if any you can use jeera ka sambar rice which is very popular in south india and which gives really good aroma to the biryani now i am adding water i have used 1 is to 1.5 ratio like if i have used 1 cup of basmati rice i am adding 1.5 cups of water you can use coconut water to enhance the flavor but i have not used here i have used only water here. don't cover it we need to make the rice get boiled here we will be adjusting the salt now add some more coriander and mint leaves now i am adding the kesar basmati rice which i have soaked in kesar milk 
along with the kesar milk give it a stir you can see i have not closed the lid but the rice are nearly 70 to 80% cooked at this stage i will add more coriander leaves more salt adjusting the salt and then i'll cover it after 5 minutes i'll check the consistency of the water and i'll keep it for dum keeping a tawa below the kadhai and closing it for 20 minutes let it dum for 20 minutes it's been 20 minutes let's open wow just see it give the biryani a stir without breaking the rice Switch off the stove and let it remain for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make salad or raita for biryani. I have used onions, carrot, cucumber, tomato, salt and curd here. This is actually a wonderful combination rather having curries or fries. I prefer this combination uh, for biryanis. Biryani is ready to be served. Thanks for watching.